What's up everyone, I'm Dave Mack. Let's take the LFO into the next level, shall we? The LFO of the Dig Attack is a wonderful thing. It's really flexible and opens up a lot of creative possibilities. It can go far into the audio range, which is very useful to create FM sounds and noise, as well as making a sample stereo image wider, for instance. When you start using parameter locks with wildly different LFO settings, the LFO becomes a very deep creative tool. It's really cool. But in this episode, I want to focus on using the LFO as an FM modulator. So let's check that out. Okay, let's create some techno using a single cycle waveform and the LFO. I'll load up a simple sign for the dramatic effect, of course, because then it's really obvious what's happening. Just load up a single cycle waveform uh, from the factory samples and set the sample playback to forward loop. Now let's head over to the amp envelope and I'm gonna shorten this a little bit because I want uh, a stabby sound. I'm not gonna make it too short because I want to be able to hear what's happening to the sound. Uh, I can later come back and shape the amp envelope further so we can play this um, single cycle waveform as a mono synth. Add the LFO page, set mult to a very fast setting, let's take it to 2k. For now let's just start with traditional frequency modulation. The single cycle waveform is the carrier and the LFO is the modulator. So let's set the LFO to sine and set this to oh, set this to sample tune. So now play with the depth and speed setting until you find the sound you like. There we go, you can already hear some good FM sounds. And when I tweak the speed, you will hear when I come near a good ratio, it will start sounding like the um, LFO is slowing down. Now I can use the depth to make it a bit... See, we can get some nice bell-like tones. The cool thing about Fade is it acts um, when we set the mode to Trig trig mode, um, the fade acts a little bit like a simplified envelope. So this will be your DK and this will be an attack stage. This we can use sort of as an amplitude envelope for the uh, modulator. You get That way we can make it really stabby and it will modulate back to the original sign which has a pretty cool effect. So let's go over to the amp and shorten it a little bit. So, it's very basic but handy. Tweak with speed and depth some more until you are satisfied. So remember that we can use parameter locks on the LFO. That way we can tune the FM sound on each step to our liking. This is somewhat comparable to how a modulator in real FM synthesis will follow notes you play if you want. So for that to work, we will just adjust the speed for each step. So um, what I really like in techno is using polymeters. So I've set the sequencer of this track to five steps. Um, let's just program one here and here. Now let's adjust one of the steps.
go. This is really nice. Cool. All right. Still sounds a little bit funky, but I mean, uh, yeah, we're just tweaking a little bit here. So before I go on and tweak this some more until it sounds a little bit better, like for instance, adding reverb and delay, I want to show you a really cool trick. So remember that the LFO mult is linked to the BPM. It's a multiplication of the BPM. That is interesting because I've now set it to 1 or 34 BPM, but what I can do if I want to sample this sound uh, and not play it like this into my uh, in my live set, uh, I can actually just move up the BPM to 300. And that way the LFO um, goes even further in, in audio range, so we get more speed. See, we can get a, even more variety of sounds. Cool. So uh, that's a little trick I really find interesting because it's yeah, it's just basically abusing BPM to get the LFO to be a lot faster. So. Okay, so let's go nuts. Okay, so let's play with other parameters. For instance, which one I find really interesting is start and length. That's some reverb. Let's add some bit reduction. sound even more. All right, so to do this while the sequence is playing, you can do this. Just hit play, go wiggle the knob for the wiggle the knob for the sample a little bit. Press funk yes while it's still open and now we can just um, exchange the single sack waveform for something different and audition it in the track as well. I found this one pretty interesting. And we can, you hear that noise at the very top end of the frequency, we can shape that a bit.
So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Cheers.